The taking of samples of uranium and plutonium constitutes another major part of the inspection. Here again, inspectors must be certain that the material present on site corresponds to the declarations made by the operator. The Commission has its own laboratory in Karlsruhe, Germany. But in order to limit the transport of radioactive samples, a special laboratory has been established on the site of the plant at La Hague. Here, for example, samples from solutions of spent fuel are being analysed. Il s'agit donc d'échantillons qui sont hautement radioactifs. Donc ils sont derrière des écrans biologiques, donc une chaîne blindée et un verre au plomb d'une épaisseur d'environ 30 cm. Ces échantillons vont être tous manipulés avec des télémanipulateurs. Il n'y a aucune intervention qui se peut se faire ici en chaîne. C'est trop radioactif. The checks and analyses sometimes reveal discrepancies. In most cases, these are minor accounting errors which can be corrected on the spot. If then there are really infractions, serious irregularities that are not solved in spite of our remarks, then the commissions can use the Euratom Treaty and uh, impose sanctions either to the member state or to the operator. Those sanctions can range for a, a simple warning up to taking away the nuclear materials from the operator. This is the Sellafield reprocessing plant in Britain. This strategic site has given rise to one of the most serious disputes in the history of nuclear safeguards. Since the first Euratom inspection in 1986, the Commission inspectors have not been able to perform adequate verification activities in one of the storage ponds because of poor visibility and high radiation. Judging the action plan presented by the British government to be insufficient, the Commission has started proceedings against the United Kingdom at the European Court of Justice. Il faut dire qu'il y avait une complexité dans cette affaire liée euh, à l'usage civil euh, ou militaire d'une partie euh, des combustibles. Mais euh, l'essentiel est là. Euh, lorsque les rapports de nos inspecteurs sont devenus vraiment alarmants, nous avons agi. With the accession of the 10 new Central European countries, the inspector's area of operations has widened. Between them, these new member states have 19 nuclear reactors, which were built according to the norms of the ex-Soviet Union. Obviously, post-enlargement, all these installations have been subjected to European Commission inspection. But, as they had been inspected for years previously by the International Atomic Energy Agency, based in Vienna, it's not surprising that so far the European inspectors have discovered nothing wrong. In the Union of 25, the nuclear safeguards continue to be important. As a result, the Commission has adopted a new approach which puts the accent on quality, not quantity. It's asked the operators and national authorities to develop their own controls from now on, so that not everything depends on European inspections. Ich glaube aber, dass diese äh, vor ort in Zukunft äh, von den nationalen Behörden durchgeführt werden sollten, von unabhängigen nationalen Behörden und dass die Europäische Kommission die Verantwortung dafür tragen sollten, dass es dafür Qualitätsstandards gibt, dass es Stichproben gibt, eventuell im Peer Review, also dass man hier Methodik entwickelt, um die Sicherheitskontrolle vor Ort dementsprechend optimal gestalten zu können. Nous évoluons vers un système où nous contrôlons les contrôleurs nationaux. S'il s'avérait que dans une installation X, il y avait un réel problème, un réel danger, nous reprendrions des contrôles systématiques. This rationalization will allow the commission to focus more on other risks linked to the nuclear industry, such as the health of workers and the people who live near nuclear installations and also with the implementation of a common legislative framework on nuclear safety aimed at, amongst other things, protecting nuclear installations against attack or accident.